Well, they're not. I'm gonna start over. Some people think that the 5.7 by 28 and the 22 Magnum are similar. Well, they're not even close. The 5.7 is a bottleneck center fire cartridge that has no rim. It's a proprietary case. It was built specifically to be accurate, to be lethal, and to be long range. Well, it comes out of a 12 inch barrel or longer, like 2,800 feet per second. Out of a pistol, it's doing about 2,000 feet per second. 22 Magnum, well, out of a pistol, it's gonna be similar to this 5.7, about 1,200 feet per second. Now they're both gonna be 40 grain bullets. 40 grain bullets, this is a defensive 22 Magnum load, and this is a 5.7 by 28 load. I've got a couple of melons downrange. I'm gonna shoot them both. But let's talk about energy just for a second. Energy, about 136 foot-pounds out of the 22 Magnum, and like 370 foot-pounds out of the 5.7 by 28. So almost three times the energy. Well, I'm gonna shoot the first melon with the 22 mag. And I'm sitting down, not because I need a rest, gotta get the right mag, but because I wanna be at the level of these melons and I don't wanna miss and waste a bunch of time. So melon number one on the right, I'm just gonna go at the center, make a shot, and obviously, that 22 Magnum fractured that melon. It knocked it a little bit off its base. I'm sure it did some damage. The 22 Magnum is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. A pistol like this that holds 20 plus rounds. Yeah, that's cool. It's fun. But let's see what the 5.7 by 28 does to the other melon, we're at 30 feet, by the way, <clears throat> a little further than use of force distance, but you never know. So I'm gonna put this one right on that left, uh, left side melon. <laughs> well, I can tell you this, I'm gonna go down range, I'm gonna pick these melons up. We're gonna take a little look, but I'm pretty sure the energy difference is gonna be obvious. So I got my melons back. Obviously, the 22 Magnum is devastating to this melon. It fractured it, it created some mush inside, and it obviously penetrated through both sides. Very cool. But man, the 5.7. I, I can't even tell where I hit it. Oh, right there, and it just blew. I hit, I hit it dead center, but it must have had a soft spot and that energy transfer just blew and turned to mush. Everything that was inside of there fractured it out. Yeah, that's the way it went in. It was facing that way on the camera, so I must have hit it there, and it just blew out that soft end. Well, I'd say that the difference is obvious, but the choice is up to you. If you like our videos about the 5, 7 by 2, 8, you can choose any one of these and watch it and learn some more. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to GunTalk.com, GunTalkTV.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.